Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. Atrial fibrillation or AFib is an irregular heartbeat that can lead to blood clots or stroke. Many patients are treated with blood thinners, but now there is a new procedure called the Watchman that gives patients more options to better health. Hey, Dora. Good afternoon. How are you? It's been almost two years since 82-year-old Theodora Clifford received a new treatment plan for her atrial fibrillation. That's good. Her cardiologist, Dr. Chandra Sakar Palanaswamy, explains Theodora's case. AFib can lead to weakening of the heart. Patients can have in symptoms anywhere from heart palpitations, dizziness, shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, um, or just not feeling well. Well, physically, I didn't have the energy that I have today. Theodora went on blood thinners to treat her AFib, but she also had a bulging artery in her brain. So while on one hand, she is at a high risk for a blood clot and a stroke from atrial fibrillation, she also was at a risk for bleeding into her brain from the intracranial aneurysm. She's a great candidate for this because she can get the Watchman device and be protected from having a stroke while she also can be protected from having a bleed by not being on the blood thinner. When he told me, I was just really thrilled. I said, can we do it today? <laughs> and he said, no, we can't do it today. We have to do it in the hospital. Implanting the Watchman is a minimally invasive one-time procedure designed to reduce the risk of strokes that originate in the left atrial appendage, a small ear-shaped sac in the muscle wall at the top chamber of the heart. This device closes that area and that area gets permanently sealed off. The heart tissue grows over it and it gets completely sealed off. Community Medical Centers was the first hospital system in the Valley to offer this procedure. Dr. Palaniswamy says they've performed about 200 of these cases since 2018. I'm just thoroughly very pleased with it because it has taken all the fear away from me of having a stroke. Theodora says she can now breathe a sigh of relief. Well, I'm so thankful for Dr. Palanar Swami because I believe he's a pioneer here in Fresno with this watchman. And, and I'm, I'm, I feel so grateful and so privileged that, that he was my doctor. And Dr. Palanaswamy says AFib is actually quite common among patients over 50 years old, and he wants people to know there are various treatment options. In Fresno County alone, I would say at least there are 10,000 patients with atrial fibrillation. For anybody that's thinking about it, please don't be hesitant because it's well worth it. The, pe the peace of mind of not having a stroke, it's just immense. I can't tell you how, how immense that is not to have that fear.